Hello everybody, welcome to another one of our daily vlogs. We've got a couple of guests in the kitchen this morning. You're not stopping because you've got your coat on. Eh? Coat <laughs> I know I've got my coat on, it's, it was cold out, we've been out today. we got Vegetastic Mum. Hello. And we got Project Man. Yeah. What are you doing today, Project Man? Come to butcher some lambs up, Miss. Yeah, we've got a whole lamb, which um, he come down because he used to be in the butcher game. And uh, it's already been butchered, so I ain't got to do no work. So okay. I've sharpened your knives for you instead. They're not even my knives, they're your knives, aren't they? No, I've sharpened no, yours. Oh, have you? As well, yeah. Anyway, what are we doing today, baby, for tea? Beef stew. That's for you, and also Charlotte and Jimmy and baby Frank. Talking so, of baby Frank. Oh, here we go. This arrived today. Oh, I see. Okay. It looks like a present, Sharon. It is. And what is it? Off the wish list. For baby Frank? It's a little tractor he's got to build, which he will love. Oh, hello. And that is from... Here he comes now, look. I hope baby Frank will enjoy this gift. Thank you, Martin and Sharon, for all the work you put in your videos. Thanks to you and Kasori, I've gone back to cooking my own dinners from Barbara. Well done, Barbara. Oh, oh. So let's see if we open it up, Barbara. So many people have started, started cooking their own dinners again. They've struggled with cooking on their own, Sharon. By getting an air fryer and making life a whole lot easier for them. Oh, where's that? Whoa. Tractor. <laughs> they are. Do you like Barbara? it? What you got, Frank? No, no, a no. Frank, what you got? No, no. Is it a tractor? Look what you got to do. Why don't you go and do that? Oh. Wow. Oh, you've got look at that. As well. Oh, look at that, Frank. Do you like it? Oh, that's lovely. Happy day. Yeah, Merlin thinks it's for him for a change. I was going to say, Merlin's a bit excited. Oh, look, he's look, got Frank. a little lunchbox. Oh. Right, go on in. You go in there. We've got work to do, shall we? Right, we'll just sort this out first and we'll come back to it. See you in a minute. Right, so what's going into this casserole, Sharon? Can I just say, it's one of my favourites. It's a one-pot wonder. Happy day. So what you got there? So we've got some diced braising steak. All right. In here, I've got carrots. Parsnips and onions. Right, okay. Beans. One tin of baked beans. My gravy granules for the stock, and also I've got Maggie seasoning over in the corner there. Oh, excuse me. And salt and pepper. Right, so we, where's this going now then? Chuck it all in the pot. Come on in. So when you say the pot, we're going to be using the um, pressure pot. Pressure pot again. Now, what's in there at the moment? Nothing. 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 Empty, empty pressure pot. In with all the root veg, folks, and the onions. Now you're not browning the meat, you never brown the meat. Oh. To us, it was a chefy thing, and people say it seals the surface. We've never found that, we've never done it, we've never had any problems whatsoever. So there you go, that's just diced up there, and all you're gonna do now is just put a bit of seasoning. You like a bit of white pepper sometimes. Put a bit of white you? pepper for a change. A bit of salt. Some Maggie. Yep. Maggie seasoning gives it a lovely savoury taste. People ask, what what flavour is Maggie's seasoning? I said, well, it's just savoury, isn't it? No, even when you sprinkle it, the smell of it's lovely. Yeah. Hot our beans. Optional. Yeah, don't have to put on we, if you don't want to. We love beans here, so... Yeah. And it just fills it out. So, tin of baked beans straight in there. There we go. Does any uh, liquid need to go in there? Yeah, I will be putting a bit in, yeah. Because we're using the pressure cook function, people, you need to um, have a bit of liquid in there. Although the uh, veg will release some liquid, but Sharon will be putting in some um, gravy granules and uh, pouring that liquid straight in there as well. So she has boiled the kettle, haven't yeah, you? Done it all. All prepared for you today. So just a drop of gravy granules, probably about half a litre you got there, Yeah, because you've got all the juices that's going to come out of your vegetables. So just give them a stir. And you know, if it needs thickening, we well, know. We, we'll do that afterwards, yeah, wouldn't you? you? You do that on your salt, actually, that's quite... You just do that with your arrowroot. Yeah. Or you can leave the lid off and put it on saute yeah. and let it thicken naturally. But um, the arrowroot works pretty much instantly and it yeah. don't leave no aftertaste at all, does it? There we go. So that goes in there. Nice and thick. Don't worry if there's any lamps in there, folks. Yeah, that'll, that'll all dissolve. That'll all dissolve into it, so don't worry about that. And that should be enough liquid for that to start pressurising, folks, okay? Yeah. Oh, looking forward to this. Right, well, I won't be, because I won't be having it. I've had my uh, fish. There we go. So, all you're going to do there... Pressure. Pressure cook. 
How long are you putting it on for? 25, I always do. Right, 25 minutes. We take off the keep warm function. It's on high pressure. And just press the start button. Oh, it's hard work in this kitchen. And that is it. Oh, I can't take all this cooking lot. Right, so basically that's it, folks. We're going to just let it go now for 25 minutes. We'll bring you back when we take the lid off. We'll have a look at the thickness of it. And if it needs a bit of thickening, we'll add a bit of arrowroot. So we'll see you in a minute. Well, 25 minutes are up, Sharon? Yeah. Right, you've depressurised it. Or is it? Oh, no, you're doing it now. Now we are. Right, as you can see, you get a good jet of steam. Just taking that pressure out. You could have left it and it would have done naturally, couldn't you? But yeah. uh, we like to do it quickly, just get it over with. We like to eat our dinner. Well, you've got our dinner, I haven't got yeah. any. I might taste a little bit though, just to see what it tastes like. Is it seal of approval from the master? Well, no, just that uh, I like to see if it's tender. Right, we just wait for that little pip to go down on the air fryer people there. Not the air fryer, the uh, pressure cooker. There we go. Once that goes down, you are then safe to unlock it. Now look at that, still bubbling away. Now. Depending on whether Sharon thinks it's too thin, could do with a little bit of arrowroot, mm. couldn't it? Yeah. And all you'll do now, just to keep it bubbling, you'll put it on, Outside. turn it on, Stop. and just stick it on, saute in it. Yeah, there it is. There it is. And press start. There we go. I'm going to go and get me arrowroot. So that will just keep it bubbling because when you add the arrowroot, the thickener, you want it to be piping hot for it to work correctly and we buy it in packet share don't we like that yeah from amazon well it comes in a different bag these are the little pouches you buy off amazon which look like a, a mason jar yeah and you just pour them into there they've got the sealable lids at the top of them yeah and as you can see folks just by sticking it on saute it just um can you just keep stirring it yeah thank you. i'll keep stirring it for you baby thank you and all she'll do, she'll take a, a large tablespoon. Yeah, good heat tablespoon. Put it in a glass. There you go, like that. And then just add some water to it. Now, I'll just turn that beef over there. I just want to show you that beef there. Can you see the little brown crusty bit on the end of that beef? Now, a lot of people say, oh, you should sear it first. Well, it's got a little bit of sear on it there, look from where it stays at the bottom. And there's no way that that beef would have benefited any more from searing it. Because it's in a lovely juice. Are you ready? Right, here we go. Are you so, ready for the magic to Here start? we go, just mix it up. It is like magic, isn't it? And just pour that in there, look. You watch this thicken up. You can hear the changing note of the, um, the juice. Wow, look at that already, look. That's my magic trick for the that day. It's super. Look how look how thickly that goes. Might as well use it. Go on then, put, put that bit in. Just put the rest in. Wasting it. And that makes a lovely thick gravy. Now you could it. add dumplings and pressure cook it maybe for an extra five minutes, or just put the lid on it and have it sort. Yeah. Tame, but look we're not it. having the. Um, look that. Look. Can you see we're that? just having that tonight. Can you see that now, folks? Look. Here he comes, chief. Oh, he's come. Chief taste has yeah, come through. Yeah, he's come. dinner. <laughs> there you go. Right now, you're not having it with potato or no, anything. No, nothing, nothing Hold else. on, Frank. Mum, Nanny, get it for you. Then get his drink. We're just having it. We're just having it like that tonight. Yeah, just in a bowl, a warming bowl of hot stew. And if you want crusty bread, that would have been nice. But you don't eat bread, there. Let me get and it through then there. If you've got some Go bits left over, blend it, make it into soup. Oh, there's Mummy. Hello, Mummy. Hello. Mummy's come through for a dinner. Mummy's hungry as well. Yeah, there you go. Right, so shout. You want your ladle for that? Got it. Have you turned it off? Yeah. Right, let's get that out for you then. There you go. That lovely hot stew. Look at that. Lord Frank. Baby stew. Baby Frank. I'll cut that. Well, Charlotte can cut that for him. It's Lord Frank's. Piping hot, folks. Hey, so, eh? He's gone. He's gone, is he? Look at that. Look. Lovely chunky stew, Sharon. Definitely a winter warmer, Sharon. <laughs> Oh, yeah. And the beans add a lovely, I, would, I don't like to use the word sweetness because we don't put sugar in our stuff, but there is obviously sugar in beans, isn't there? But, um, I buy low salt and sugar beans. Low sugar beans as well, you can get low sugar beans. Right, well, okay, let's let you sort this out. Right, okay, well, Sharon's going to put a bit of white pepper on hers. And I'm going to have a taste, folks. She's got some in the little bowl for me. Come on in, Sharon. Right, go in. It's going to be hot. Hey, what are you 
going first. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. I'll go for it. Now I'm going to try that beef first, people. There's a chunk of beef there from a fish eater. <laughs> Very tender, and that gravy got a deep richness to it. Richness, but I feel what I like. I'll get a bit out ready and cool down. Are you ready, Maggie? I thought you'd add Worcester sauce. Just add a bit more of that. Oh. Lovely that beef. And that gravy. I just want to taste the gravy now, folks. That is a taste sensation. Ooh. What a winter warm that is. Come on, baby. You better let that cool down for a bit. Mm. I'll tell you what, I'm going to do what you've done because I'm a fan of white pepper as well. Just whack a bit of that on as well. Season as you like, folks. Season as you like. Oh, Got to be I know it is really hot. It's really. Just come out of a big pressure cooker, isn't it? Like you Here we go. Full metal jacket, I've got everything on there. Options. No, I'm not the problem. Man, that's on you, yeah. So simple to do. You've been terrorizing me, yeah, I'm always wrong. A one pot wonder. I love them. Now for 25 minutes in the in a, in a pressure cooker. Can I just, I'm just gonna take Jimmy's dinner because he's got in. Why wouldn't you make a batch of that up, put it in a flask if you're going out for the day, and have that with a crusty roll or something like that if you're eating bread, obviously. And save a bucket load of money, because you're paying 15, 16, 17 pounds for something like this if you're eating out. And that's one of the things we're going to be doing a lot more of, eating out, shall we? Ooh, baby. Not freezing cold nights, so. Well, I like doing it in two degrees, shall them sitting down by the you car. You find someone else to go with because I'm not playing that game. Of course you are, shall we play no, games? I'm not. We love playing games together. Yeah, not in two degrees. No. Anyway, well, I hope you enjoyed this one, folks. Yet again, another cheap, simple meal. Put it all in the pot, let it do its work. Add your seasonings. Maggie seasoning, salt and pepper. That's all it's got. Arrowroot to thicken it up a bit. And Bob's your uncle. You've got a lovely, tasty meal. You could do it with mashed potato or even uh, cauliflower. Mashed up cauliflower if you want to use it, use that. Suet dumplings, or you can use vegetable shortening to make the dumplings, or crusty bread. Whatever takes your fancy, but absolutely superb. Mm. So tender that mate. And I'll tell you, it's one way of getting kids to eat vegetables, because mm. Uber was here earlier. You put parsnips in it. I said, well, she never knew that, but she does now. And right. she's eaten it and loved it. We're gonna go folks. We'll see you in tomorrow's video. Who knows what that's going to bring. I we never, clue. We never know, do we? We never know. I don't know what we're having tomorrow. Well, I know what I'm having. I'll be having mackerel and pilchards or, or sardines. This is just a little perk. Thanks very much, folks. We'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to have a little binge watch. And I hope you enjoy our videos. And do ring that little notification bell. And hit the subscribe button. Thanks very much. We'll see you in the next video. And until then, bye for now.